Hello friends, welcome back to Let's Play Amazon. Apologies if my voice sounds a little bit croaky, I am recovering from a virus at the moment, so that's what's going on there. But I think it was, it was time to resolve our, our cliffhanger from last episode, uh, where we got ourselves imprisoned for snooping around in a what we thought was a deserted village, uh, but then a, a soldier jump scared us. Um, and we're in this small cell. We managed to pick up a cup, which is exciting. Um, and there is there's a small gap here where we can see a bottle of tequila. And there is a uh, um, an insect here. Because at first I thought this was a spider, but this is clearly some form of beetle. It has six legs, so I don't know I don't know what I was thinking in the original recording. Um, I have luckily managed to record the audio for the, the game audio for this episode, so I'm not going to have to patch that up in post production like I did for the last one. Um, if you want to find out more about that, that's in the episode description for the previous one. Um, so, my first thoughts, uh, given these three things to interact with, um, was to get some tequila in the cup and then give it to the beetle. Um, and then my second thought was that doesn't really make sense. Why wouldn't you put the beetle in the cup and then put that in the tequila to give the guard a fright? So I, th I think we've now got a... Oh, uh, yes, look, a cup with a beetle in it. Here we go. Oh, why is it fizzy? Is it like a poisonous beetle? That's not good. That's not ethical. Oh my god. <laughs> that was instantaneous. This is bonkers. This game is very strange. Right, I've got a key, which is lovely. Where? How can I use it? Nope, hold on. Key, get, get key. Oh, I did get key, okay. It's presumably there's a lot. There you go. All right, we're out. Where's the? Oh, I can't even see them properly. All right, so now we're here. Okay, this is where we were before, more or less. There's a pitchfork there. Can I get the pitchfork? I mean, that would be handy as an offensive weapon. And I think our ultimate goal was to try and get some um, some petrol. Okay, so yeah, this is where we got to before um, when we got. I guess if it's just that one person, then they're out for the count for now. Ah, okay. Right, there's a bundle of string, rope, and a gas canister. So I need those things. Right, there was nothing anywhere else, I don't think. We can go over here, but I don't know that there's a point to that necessarily. Definitely can't do anything there. Alright, well the, we can interact with the well. So <laughs> poor dead cow there. Um, right. Uh, does that need rope? That that would be my guess given that we've got rope. Is that it needs rope. It does, okay. Oh that was oh oh my goodness we can go down it. I wasn't expecting this. This game is full of surprises. I was, oh yeah, nice. Uh, I was taken aback by how it decided to deploy, um, uh, like a horror horror storytelling tactic. Oh, there's a poor colours there. Um, which way did I come from? Oh my goodness, I don't even know which way I came from now. This way. Um, this is going to be confusing, isn't it? It's like a dungeon crawl now. Um, yeah. To just for a pure narrative reason, so it was like nothing that we could actually interact with in that village section. It just it was just waiting to give us a jump scare, um, which I mean it's interesting on a narrative level and design level, um, and kind of somewhat um, expands the um, the vocabulary of the type of game that it's is trying to be. Right, I can't interact with this broken mirror, this bucket, and this barrel. All these paintings which are turned away from us. They can go further this way to something that I can barely see. There's a sword! 
This is this has gone very strange. Right, I don't think I can I can go further than oh my goodness, right. I've gone up some stairs apparently and I can go up a ladder into a secret chamber. Right? Well what I'm in the church. Did I know there was a church? I don't remember seeing a church. Right. Excellent. Icon. Candles. So I'm assuming there's somebody close by if they've lit all these candles. Oh, the confession? Confessional? Right. Oh, that's where the... Oh, that's very strange. That's where the ladder is. Okay, right. So that's how we get back is goes the confessional. Uh, can we do anything with this one? We can't. We can go down the aisle. Oh, there is... Somebody. They accused me of letting you in the fort. I think it's time for me to give account for my mistakes before God. I bear no grudge against those soldiers, you know. I forgive them. It's the least a priest can do before dying. Don't delude yourself. It's not by taking that egg back to where it came from that you are miraculously going to save this country. But it may do some good anyway. I hope so. People need something to believe in, to hope in, you know. Oh. Has he... No. He hasn't died as well, honest, has he? I think he has. I can't believe it happened twice. Alright, well let's have a look in your Bible. Can we have a look in your Bible? We could have been it, eh? Oh, yep. Yeah. La Santa Biblia. Oh, hello. I see. Lots of secrets in this church, eh? Right. Uh, the altar. I can interact with the altar. Oh my goodness, right. Uh, well, you'd think the key for this would probably be this one. Oh no, it's another floppy disk. It's another 1930s floppy disk. And a letter. What about, can I not open the other one? Guess not. No, I guess that's everything we need. Right, we should read this letter. Uh, if I can get my way through this cursive. In the Diocese of Amazon, Diocese Office, Al Alvarezopolis, Reverend to Reverend Father Markovsky, Mission Puebla, July 25th, 1934. My son, yesterday I received your letter dated 10th December. I supposed it must have got here by mule through the jungle. Undoubtedly, this country needs to be developed, and I pray I pray God to help the new President Alvarez, who I was told is one of your friends. I was told this man has a stern conception that comes from authority and power, which he well intends to use in order to bring the Amazon something in inverted commas something militari it might be in Latin or something? I can't make out what that first word is. To the shores of modernity. The ways of the Lord, we know my son, are impenetrable. If we must believe, if we must believe, so we must believe that it was not without reason that the Lord has laid his hand on you, on your friend Alvarez, so that he may lift this country out of the mud into in which it has been wallowing for too long. We will help him, of course, in our own way by going steadfastly on with our evangel evan evangelizing and civilizing mission among the primitive Indians across the jungle and the mountains. Great. Uh, on this subject, I exhort you, my son, to fight with the greatest determination the pagan beliefs that have cluttered the minds of these savages. These pure mythological fab fabrications 
about those unlikely white birds and their accompanying rights only help to keep the natives from the ways of the Lord. I believe that this gentleman, Valenbois, does us a great disservice by attaching such importance to this legend. You would be well advised, my son, to stay away from this man who, I am sure, would fail to be the laughing stock of the scientific community on his return to Europe. I bless you, my son. Monsignor Moretti, Bishop of Amazon. So I suppose that points to the division growing between um, the Padre and Professor Valambois, um, which might be kind of a reason for their their party for so long. Right, so I think I think we're done, right? strange game right we can't go out the door we have to go back into the dungeon so I don't know why you keep needing new floppy disks it's a bit bonkers it's like we've got the coordinates we know where we're going the co coordinates don't keep changing because they're not relational to to where we are I don't, well I mean they shouldn't be right uh, I guess we attack this with a sword that's what I do no, we can't do that. What am I going to use the sword for then? Um, can I do anything with this sculpture? Alright, well, I'm confused about the sword. Not the best, not the best thing. Uh, right, so we can go back in there if we need to. Um, was there anything else to interact with? Can we go in new locations now? That we've um, should we go in here again. Is there anything to interact with now? Um, oh, oh, there's a person here. I, I didn't want to believe me. I didn't want to kill the padre. He said. That you would make the pajaritos broncos come back with your, with, with your machine. The white birds, you said. All that is just Indian stories. <laughs> stories by those damn dirty palest Indians. I am not an Indian anymore. I am, I am a citizen of the Amazon. <laughs> the padre, the padre got me all worked up. That is all. And then... <laughs> the shot went off like that. I am only a peasant. <gasps> the soldier made me do it. The soldier, the soldier. I am not an ugly assassin. I am only a poor peasant. That is all. <laughs> right, that was a very difficult to interpret voice performance there. Um, but I don't, I, right, I don't know what that gets us. Can we attack this person with a sword? No, we can't. Can we listen to them a bit more? I, I didn't want to. Oh, believe me. I didn't want to kill the padre. He said that you would make the pajaritos broncos come back with your, with, with your machine. Okay, that's the, the same. Birds, you said. Can I skip this? All that is just Indian stories. <laughs> If I can, I don't know how to. I am a citizen of the Amazon. The padre. The padre got me all worked up. That is all. And then the shot went off like that. I am only a peasant. The soldier made me do it. The soldier. The soldier. I am not an ugly assassin. I am only a poor peasant. That is all. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I was uh, uh, accidentally loading up the menu there, apparently. Well, if they got anything on them that I can pinch while they're um, wiring in, mire, mire, mired in their own emotions. Um, no. All right. Well, this is all confusing. What? Can I do anything with the cow? No. 
Okay. So, there was... I mean, there is something... Oh, hello. Uh, is there anything I can do here? Anything here? Nothing to interact with. Um, oh, there was the church here, I recall. So then, I guess there might be something to do outside. Um, we could go back up this way. Is there anything new in the school room now? Um, we could do this again. That's fun. Um, probably not. Can I hit the statue with a, the sword? No. Can I look at the map again? That's fine. Yeah, nothing new to interact with here, I don't think. So I'm not sure why there's nobody except two soldiers and a... Um, and there was formerly a priest in this village, that seems rather odd. Right, can I interact with anything here? Or would it behoove me to do so? Apparently not. Alright, well let's try going out of the village. So I don't know what I can do with that. Um, we haven't got any keys anymore, have we? No. Um, how do I... Yep, yeah, like this. Okay. Right, let's see if there's anything else going on around here. I guess we could go down here first and to see if we can reuse this now. No, that doesn't work. So I'm a bit confused as to where we're going to get our gas. Or maybe there's already gas in it. Uh, that's not really a way to tell, is there? Right, we can't interact with this little tabernacle. Um, we can have a little look at Yukimani's grave. But again, I don't think we can do anything here. It's just for storytelling purposes. Um, Alright, well let's see if the gas is, uh, oh it is. Alright, that would have gas in. So that solves that issue, and then we can put the disc in. But what about the sword and the... I'm confused. Why put a locked door there? Why tempt me? Or well, you can get to it from two angles, that's very sophisticated. Why tempt me with a locked door? Okay, maybe I've missed something. No, that just reads that. <laughs> so definitely doesn't want to do that. Probably doesn't want to do the disc. No. Confusing. This is, okay, we're kind of on the, in the middle of a, or at the base of a spiral staircase. It's very hard to make out, isn't it? Right, so if I go up here, there's nothing other than the ladder to go through. We're in the professional. Yeah, I'm trying to think where that, where usefully that door could lead. Because um, at the moment there don't seem to have been too many points at which this story could diverge or you'd have a chance to go wrong. Yeah, no, I think we've done everything that we can, I can think of. Um, so we will go back down here.
down here, and da down here, and through here, and through here. Can't pull that chain or anything. Hmm, this is very strange, isn't it? Hmm. Right, climb this way. Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll go back down here. I'll go to the, um, the dock here. I will save it. And then we'll see what happens when we put the disc in. Um, if that means we can just go away, then we'll try that, I guess. Check the status. Uh, load it, please. I think it's still got the other two in there, because I don't know what's happened to them. Right, what do we want to do now? You'd think sailing, wouldn't you? What's the difference between sailing and boat? Not available. Grapple? Not available. Helicopter? Not available. Glider? Oh, we can, we're going to glide. We're going to glide, apparently. It still looks somewhat like the sailing. Right, some crocs. Is this going to be an issue? Oh. Oh, gosh. The infrastructure is suffering. I mean, this isn't gliding, is it? This is. Sounds like we're on a motorboat, so I'm not. Right, some vultures, nice. <gasps> We're gonna take off like a vulture into the skies. Yeah, we're definitely sailing, we're not. I mean, we're boating, we're not gliding. Danger music. I've run out of steam again. Are we there yet? Oh, chapter four. Who knew there could be so many chapters? Right, brilliant. Oh, strange creaking going on. Where's all my fuselage gone? I seem to have lost it all. Okay, how's the egg doing? I think it's alright. Um, yeah, where is the fuselage? That's slightly worrying. We can go that way. That's good to know. Uh, oh, we can interact with the fuel thing again. Oh, we're not, have to go, not gonna have to do another fuel puzzle, are we? No fuel. Ah, oh, that's handy. I didn't. I didn't know if it. Don't know if it's done that before. I can't believe we're gonna have to do another fuel puzzle. Let's check on our inventory. Right. So the sword has disappeared. So that was only. Um. Is this all of our letters? Well, I think it might be. Oh, you know what? We should probably have read. Uh, I'll get out of here. This book in the section about Puebla, right? Let's finish off with that. As things are creaking distractingly in my earphones. Um, uh, at all? Okay. 
1932, 25th December, we set foot on the shores of the Amazon. As far as the eye can see, the delta of the Amazon River. Puebla. This looks familiar. The village is built on an old fort that was formerly used as a trading post by the conquistadors. The only means of transport is an old railway line. This village is a flourishing marketplace for all the populations of the region. Uh, the Amazon Vulture, Puebla, December 1932. Um, ah! Cafardus Can't quite make out all of that. Uh, very common throughout the village of Puebla. The natives are very fond of it. Um, they say it has soothing virtues. Oh, okay. Right, that's a clue to, as to what to do with the beetle. Puebla, 1st of January 1933. Last night a man told me about some strange white birds. He has agreed to guide up the river. He is of mixed blood and lives in the jungle. Ten days from Puebla by canoe. A shabby but... A shabby but... A shabby hut on the riverbank. Farewell to Mikovsky and Alvarez. Okay, nothing about the sword. Could something bat? Alligator Toucan. Nice. Luis Angel, my guide. That was in February 1933. The surroundings of my guide's humble dwelling place are, from a zoological viewpoint, very rich. Uh, Luckera? Sakura? On the bank of the Amazon River. 12th of January 1933. So I think... Oh... Uh, Poor Coptimus. Okay. Uh, the tricorn buffalo. Uh, skittish animal and apparently stupid. Uh, Rhinoptimus. This animal seems to be bound to the meanders of the Amazon River. The natives hunt it as they do the poor Coptimus. That's very hard to say. Uh, with which it must not be confused. The Amazon River branches off into several small tributaries. The current is very strong and only the solid experience of my guide enables us to progress without mishap. Um, Pecosaur, a strange fish-eating lizard. Its habits are truly remarkable. It dons a long... Is that what it says? It dons a long nasal appendage that ends in a kind of claw that it uses to fish after hooking an insect larva to it. Okay, that sounds fun. Okay, so this is this is later on. So yeah, no clues about the sword and the gate. So we'll we'll leave it there for now. Um, and we'll I think we're probably at the shabby hut by the looks of it, so we'll see what's going on there. Uh, 60 years later and uh, yeah I'm sure everything will be fine uh, until next time take care bye bye <laughs>